It is hard to believe that another year, 2014, is coming to a close. We once again take a look at the past year very, very briefly in gold, as well as our forecast for 2015. What we're looking at when we look at these composite charts sitting up here is the dollar index, Standard and Poor's, and then two gold charts. When we take a look at what we saw this year is considering the, the Standard and Poor's or the equities markets, that arrow represents where we were at the beginning of 2014. You can pretty much see we've moved to the upside to new record highs. When we look at the dollar index over this last year, we have just come back up to a high that we haven't really seen since about uh, mid-2010, right above 89, but we're at definitely a new high prior to that. When we consider the moves that we've seen in the equities markets, the U.S. dollar, and then we look at gold, you can see that gold was pretty much trading at $1,200 at the beginning of 2014. And now, close to the conclusion, we're pretty much dead even trading currently at 1196 Oh yes, and one last thing to consider or to add to the mix during 2014, and that is oil prices. Looking at a weekly chart, since it began just above $90 at the beginning of 2014, traded to a high of just under $110 per barrel, and now is just trading above $50 per barrel. In fact, considering the kind of moves that we have seen in the equities markets and the U.S. dollar, the one thing that we can say is that this year has been defined as an absolute consolidation within the gold market. And when we compare this to the activity of 2013, which saw a 30% decline, consolidation is not such a bad thing. So what can we look for in 2015, and where do we forecast gold prices going? I'm working with two distinctly different models. I'm going to try to cover both of them for you on this Outlook 2015. But the one thing that we have to, have to really pay a lot of attention to is the current trends we have with a higher dollar, higher equities, and lower oil. Because if these three things continue... I really see no other place for gold to trade but under more consistent pressure. And with that in mind, this is my current bear model in gold. This model is actually predicting or looking at lower pricing over next year and fairly substantially lower pricing. It's really based upon a couple of factors. Most importantly, when we take a look at the longer term activity within the market, we have had a series at this point of lower highs. Now, we've also had a period of equal and now lower lows. That, to me, of course, signals the potential for further downside pressure in the market. More importantly, the fact that it could not on this last rally, this $100 rally from these new lows at 31, go in and break out above either the resistance line or the former top, which was 1154, meaning we got a lower high again, that also beckons to me the possibility of lower prices. So within this model, I'm really looking at this uh, price point here. This is 1180, and then of course we have another one now at 1131. But the key is, when we look at our longer term studies and we consider the 1154, now that is a 61% retracement from this last major rally, call it 700 to 1900, 1154 takes you to a 61% retracement. If in fact we do see gold breach that critical level, the 61% retracement level, and start to head towards the most recent lows at 1131, we could see dramatically lower pricing. And the prices that I would be looking at are going to be based upon our Elliott Wave model. It is my current take in the market that we are in a fifth wave off of this corrections wave one, two, along wave three, wave four, and we are currently immersed in wave five. One of the techniques that we use to forecast the fifth wave is to say that wave one, and wave five are roughly equal. If I do that, and this is a scalable line, I take this to the top of four or the beginning of our fifth wave down here, that would forecast or predict 
that gold prices could go as low as 959. There is also a second technique that we use, and that is to take our range from our third wave and then to create an extension, which we have, that will begin at the onset of our fifth wave here, and then look for wave five to be about 61% of wave three. When we run that analysis, we come up with the very, very same price point. So if we see dramatic pressure continue in gold and it breaks through new lows, our prediction is we could see prices fall as low as 1033 to 959. There's no doubt. According to this particular model, and it is the model that I favor the most, we are looking at potentially lower pricing ahead in 2015. However, there's also a bullish model that can be made as long as gold can remain above in terms of a price point, 1154, and move off of that point to higher ground. It has been a distinct honor as well as a privilege to work with you and present our technical analysis through the chart this series here in 2014 and I hope to bring you insightful technical studies again in 2015.